Hi, I'm Tara and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, <laughs> but I'm back. Do you like eggs and bacon? Do you like pasta and spicy things? Well, if you do, you are going to love today's dish. So today I'm going to show you how to make pasta carbonara, but this is a very easy version and it's spicy as well. Let's get started. So the key, I think, to this recipe is gonna be what bacon you choose. And the idea around this recipe came from a trip that my boyfriend Joe and I took to uh, the local market and we went to the meat counter and they had different types of bacon that were out of the ordinary. And this one was, I believe it was like a, a honey jalapeno. It doesn't say on the label. But anyway, it's definitely spicy. So we grabbed some of this bacon and I thought, well, pasta carbonara, you can use pancetta to make it, which is traditional, or you can use bacon. And if you want to kind of spice it up or change it up a little bit, you can use, you know, more of a flavored bacon like this one. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing is we are going to chop up some of this bacon and get that in the pan. Okay. So we have about eight ounces of chopped up bacon, and in this case, it's a kind of a sweet and spicy jalapeno bacon. And you just want to put it over, you want to put it in the pan cold and then just fry it up over uh, medium heat. And that way it renders out its fat um, and you get it nice and cooked through, a bit crispy as well. Over here I have some water boiling and that's going to be ready for the pasta that I'll put in shortly. Okay, so while your bacon is finishing cooking, um, what we can do is crack the eggs. So grab a bowl, um, and this bowl is kind of big it seems for three eggs, but um, I want to have some room to whisk everything up. So what we're going to do is crack two eggs in here. And the third egg, we're just going to use the yolk. So for the third egg, just grab like a small container and crack the egg on that or on the, on the cutting board, just so you can pull it apart and let the white kind of fall out as you put the egg back and forth in the, in the two halves of the egg uh, shell. Once you've done that, just pop it in. Also in this bowl, before we whisk up the eggs, we are going to grate some Parmesan cheese. As much as you want, you know, how cheesy you want this to be, um, I'm going to put in roughly between three fourths and a cup, just see kind of how that goes. And I'm doing it with the microplane I'm also not measuring, so, you know, just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> Try not to hurt yourself while you're doing this. Let's see? Check on my bacon. And it is done, so I am going to pull it off the heat, or actually just turn the heat off, and let it hang out in the fat. Also, let's go ahead and put the pasta in. And before you cook pasta anytime, you always want to season your water. So just grab like kind of a handful of like kosher salt or regular salt and just season your water. It's kind of a big handful, but you know what I mean? Like if you were measuring it, I would say maybe two tablespoons. Like you want the water to be nice and kind of salty because it will flavor your entire dish. And keep that in mind too, when you're making a pasta dish, don't salt the heck out of everything else that you're putting in with the pasta because the pasta should have some flavor on its own from the water. That's boiling. And here I have just, a, I believe it's just spaghetti. Um, any pasta of your choice that you want. You can even have the little pieces if you want, really. Um, and this is between 12 and 16 ounces, so, you know, just that, <laughs> that much, <laughs> if you can tell. And just kind of put it in your water, fan it out, and let that slowly go into the pot. 
And then we can continue grating this cheese. Okay, I think I have about three-fourths cup or so. I could have also used my scale that's sitting right next to me to tell you exactly how much I put in there, but like I said, just sort of eyeball it. And then grab a whisk. And just whisk that together. And this is why you want that big bowl, so that you have some room to get it all mixed together. And yes, it'll be kind of clumpy and thick. That's okay. All right, so you can set that aside. Another ingredient that we're gonna need is parsley. So I've already washed and dried this parsley and that's what you want to do if you get any herb in the grocery store. And then this is the curly parsley. So I'm just gonna kind of take the ends and just pull them off the stems. If you have a little stem in there still, it's no big deal at all, because you'll just chop it up. But you wanna get just a good handful to chop up and put in the pasta. It gives it a really nice fresh flavor. And then just get as many stems as you can out of there. Put the rest aside. And then just chop it up. Stir my pasta now. You always want to stir your pasta once it's been in the water for just a little bit so that it won't stick. That's how your pasta won't stick. It has nothing to do with putting oil in your water. There's no reason to ever do that. Unless you want to waste some oil, then go ahead and put it in your water. <laughs> so we've stirred that and we are going to cook it to package directions, maybe a minute longer. Sometimes package directions to me make it so al dente that you're like chewing on the pasta. I like my pasta soft. Yes, it's still held together, but who likes totally al dente pasta? I don't. So we're gonna do that and then I'll show you how to kind of put it all together. Okay, so when the pasta's done, you wanna go ahead and grab it and bring it over to your workstation. Because what we wanna do is we want to pull out the pasta with the pasta spoon and we're gonna reserve this pasta water, at least some of it, for the dish. So put it right into your pan that you have the, um, the bacon in with the bacon grease and everything in it. Move this so you can see. And the pan, the bacon and the, and the grease and all that should still be warm uh, because you should be keeping it on a low, 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 low heat just to keep it warm and then take it off the heat like now when you do this part. Because we don't want, we're gonna be adding the eggs here in a minute and we don't want to cook the eggs like scrambled eggs. We want it to become a nice creamy sauce. So once you have the pasta in the pan, you just want to mix that together. And so all of the bacon is going through the pasta. It's amazing. <laughs> This is a very decadent pasta. Okay, and the next thing you wanna do is add your egg and Parmesan mixture. So just go ahead and put that in there. And actually, I think I'm gonna get one of those rubber spatulas to really get it all out. This is a job for Spatch. If you haven't met Spatch, this is Spatch. He's very important in our family. <laughs> So we will put all of this out of here. And stir, stir, stir. Because again, you don't want it to turn into scrambled eggs. You want this to just remain a creamy, creamy sauce. So as you can see, that is happening. Now, you want to take a ladle. Hopefully I can find it in two seconds. Take a ladle and take some of your pasta water ladle that in. start with one ladle and see how the sauce looks to you if you want to thin it out even more than that you can put more pasta water in there 
but that's going to create the sauce and that's going to also the starch from the pasta water will continue to thicken as you stir and it sits. So after you do that, you're then going to add this lovely fresh parsley that you chopped up. So get that in there, stir that around. It gives it a lovely color as well as a really fresh taste. Now I haven't added any salt at all because I'm not sure if I would ever need it. Parmesan in there, we have bacon. So what we want to do is taste it to find that out. Just kind of get a little bit of the sauce. I really don't think it needs any salt. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit more Parmesan at the end. So this is basically it. And then top it off, you want to hit it with a good amount of black pepper. This is going to add to the spiciness of the dish. And then get your microplane back out and your Parmesan and add more cheese. Again, as much as you want, as, as cheesy as you want this to be. Okay, stir that up again. And again, that is going to also help to create the creamy sauce, the cheese and all these components at once. And that's really it. This is like, it's less of a recipe and more of a technique on how to make a carbonara. And then you just decide what you want to put in it, you know? You can add different ingredients or use different types of bacon, but that's no, this is really just sort of the method on how to do it. So you just want to get a nice ladle full. <laughs> get it in there and then sort of twist it as you put it in. Way. Once you've plated it, then go ahead and just add a little bit of Parmesan on top because that's never bad and that'll make it pretty. And then add a little bit of finely chopped jalapenos because why not? Give everybody a, a heads up that this is a spicy dish. All right, so I'm going to take a taste, see how this turned out. <laughs> Trying not to make it the biggest bite of my life. Mm. <laughs> It's very creamy. It's cheesy, but not too cheesy. And again, you can decide how cheesy it is. And it's got just the right amount of spice, I think. Um, that, I mean, it's got, you know, a little bit of chopped jalapenos in there, but the heat from that jalapeno bacon, it really is just perfect. You could also add red pepper flake if you wanted to kick it up even more of a notch. Grab some sriracha, put that on there. <laughs> I, you know. The, the, the world is your oyster. <laughs> so anyway, this is really good. You can make it really fast and it's really decadent and delicious. So if you like bacon and eggs or if your kids like bacon and eggs, chances are they're going to like this. So give it a try and thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.